Okay, I was asked this lovely question on um, the projection between uh, the judgment of my father and the judgment of God and projection and, and the collective ego. I thought this was a great question. You know, my fear of judgment, my fear of my inner judgment, uh, my fear of my father's judgment, my parents' judgment, my fear of everyone's judgment, my fear of God's judgment. And of course, it was said that's a projection, that's true. It's all um, on a certain level within the duality, this fear of projection um, is projected onto everything, onto myself and everyone, and onto God, that I'll be judged. Um, so how do you let go of that? Well, the core is um, simple things like The Course in Miracles, uh, to forgive myself, uh, what I consider myself to be, to forgive others and to forgive parents, to forgive my conception of God or my understanding of God. And that's the way out, which is very similar to the Course in Miracle lessons, that if I hold any attack thought, um, I will, be, you know, my vulnerab invulnerability or my connection to the infinite will be compromised in that moment. So there's another way of seeing it, of course is that as soon as I identify with thought, as soon as I identify with my ego as being a self-center, then immediately um, all kinds of things, fears and judgments and, and concerns uh, for, the, um, for the life of the ego will come up. Like, uh, like my ego wants, it will have limiting ideas. It wants life a certain way and will be afraid that uh, you know, God may not allow me to have a certain way. God may be judging me, or God, or I may lose the idea, my sense of self, lose my limited sense of self, of thinkingness. So I think the Course in Miracles is quite nice, even though you can, I could do God is a love in which I forgive God, God is a love in which I forgive my father, God is a love in which I forgive myself, God is a love in which I forgive God, which is a nice Course in Miracles, but also my attack thoughts are attacking my uh, invulnerability. So if I don't hold, a th you could say on a certain level that if I identify with any thought uh, or identify with the ego in a moment, just to identify for a split second with ego, I'm cast into limitation. I'm cast into the uh, limited realm of being finite, of being separated, of being a, um, an entity that's afraid of God, afraid of my father, afraid of life, afraid of myself my inner critic so any thought uh, so um how do you undo that well one is forgiveness just saying god is love in which i forgive god or um there are some core aspects that as soon as i identify myself as a separated sense of self i.e i become in separation i have the ego i'm now separated from god from others from everything in separation then um it's just the nature of the ego to fear uh, judgment, to fear not getting its way, uh, to fear the loss of its existence, being a thinking entity, carrying on thinking, wanting to be in control. Um, it brings up um, deep, um, from the collective consciousness, there's of course a deep wound of the ego of um, wanting to be in separation and have life its own way and seeing God as the enemy. Uh, which is that, um, oh, you mean I can't be this separated thing and be God and have everything go my way? Uh, uh, and uh, so it brings up ideas like a good thing to do, become an atheist and believe there is no God. That way there is no, um, there is no consequence to, to living in separation, to living as an ego and to being separated from, from God, others, from life, from the presence. So, um, and that's also part of the ego's deeper fear, that if it was to surrender to God, to presence, to the infinite, then uh, it doesn't want that. It wants the autonomy of being in separation. It doesn't want unity. It doesn't want oneness. It doesn't want beingness. It doesn't want the infiniteness. It, it doesn't want um, to uh, life without the experiencing or the block of being in the ego all the time. 
So um, I would say that being human, i.e. being identified with my thoughts and body as, and, and experiencing life in separation as opposed to experiencing life without identifying with the ego story and the ego body, uh, then is it, it's a natural thing. So this thing that was said in the group earlier about just having um, forgiveness for the human nature, forgiveness, uh, I mean, I think one of the ways is try and have instant forgiveness or the Course of Miracles even better, just to realize that if I'm touching the idea that God is judgmental, if I'm touching the idea of the thought that my father is judgmental, or if I touch my own e inner ego critic, my, e my inner ego judge that I've done bad or haven't performed well, just to uh, have a, fig uh, a forgiving uh, or potentially instantly forgiving. Uh, for me, it's like to touch thought, to touch being in separation. So you're getting, with spiritual progress, you're getting faster and faster. In the beginning, you have to use a whole prayer and pray for a few days. Later on, you get better and you realize um, even to, to indulge in the story is already um, leading to trouble. Um, and of course, the more um, identified I am with thoughts and my story and uh, the idea of others and myself, the idea of me in separation to my father, the idea of me in separation to God, uh, the idea of a me having its own ideas uh, and being afraid in case life or God doesn't allow me to get my way um, is, um, you know, it's, it's dropping, it's dropping that. So uh, just in how do you let go? Well, as soon as I identify with my ego, then I'm in separation. There's a me in separation to others. And there's a me in separation to God. There's a me in separation to my father and the ego just projects the same patterns onto everything so if i have a fear of judgment i'll have the fear of my own inner judgment i'll have the fear of my father's judgment i'll have the fear of other people's judgment i'll have the fear of god's judgment so it, it's true it's a projection it doesn't really matter who the person or whether I, I choose myself as the judge or my father as a judge or god as the judge uh, until that limited idea of judgmentalism is released then it just gets projected all over the place and there's fear all over the place. There's deeper fears. I mean, the, the ego has the core fear of dissolving uh, and that therefore doesn't would like to deny uh, the infinite reality uh, for the sake of its own survival. So there are deeper fears in uh, wanting to hold on to judgmental. I mean, it, you could say that's a payoff. If I can hold on to God being judgmental, my father being judgmental, myself being judgmental of myself. That's a, that's a secret payoff of the ego so that it can stay in separation because it really feels, um, it feels a lack of trust of being in the infinite and letting go. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'll just say on um, just uh, looking, uh, trying to see differently the idea of judgment from father and God and others. Uh, oh. I'm just going to join on a different device. Okay, so I'm just trying to stop stop this video. Yep, sure, of course. Um, hold on, stop the recording, and then let's see how I do that. Uh, I've forgotten how to stop the recording as well. Did I record? Did it say stop? Oh, I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. It's recording at the moment. Okay, uh, trying to find the stop button. Let me just have a look around. Apologies. Mm. Uh, is it at the bottom? Let, on the left. let me have a look. Where's the stop uh, button? Ah, stop 